Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it is another In My Declutter series. So today I am going to be decluttering my blushes, my bronzers, and my highlighters. This is probably the biggest category in my collection. And I'm kind of nervous about this one because blush has become such a love of mine. I have always loved highlighter and I have very few bronzers. So I'm worried I'm not gonna declutter enough. I say this in every single declutter that I'm worried it's not gonna be enough. But as always, no one is forcing me to do these declutters. I don't need to get rid of any of this, but I always love to pass these things on to friends and family so that they are getting more use so that they're not taking up space in the collection and I can really see my collection. A few caveats as always. Number one, like I just mentioned, anything that I declutter will be going to friends and family as they are used and I do not give my used makeup to people on the internet. And also with my whole declutter series, I am going to be decluttering like one category at a time. So I have already done my base products uh, like my concealer and foundation today. I'm doing blush, bronzer, and highlight, things like that. Those are going to be separate videos, but at the end of all my declutters, I am going to compile those all into one monster full collection declutter. So you can watch these individually as they pop up, or you can wait to watch the one at the end. I did do this last year, and that was a luscious three plus hour video. And you guys seem to really dig that last year. It's really good to just kind of put on in the background as you're doing other stuff and just have it play. But whatever you choose, there will be, like I said, the separate ones and the full collection declutter. Let's jump into it. This is the bath that I am using for all of my declutters. I am really hoping one of my kind of personal goals is that when all these declutters are finished, this basket will be full to the brim. That's my goal right now. There's not a whole lot in here at all. <laughs> so I'm hoping that today I will be able to declutter a bunch. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start with blush palettes. Okay, so here are all of my blush palettes. As you can see, some of them are more leaning towards highlighter. Some of them have a mix of highlighter in there. Some of them have bronzer. These two will not stay open, so we will get to them. Um, gosh, where do I even start here? Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna start up here. This is the Sigma Beauty and the Beast collection. I love this cheek palette. I think it's so beautiful. We do have a more matte blush, and then this is more of a, I'm not even gonna say shimmery blush, almost like satin, and then we have a highlighter with it. I love this. This is absolutely staying. I can also tell you my two Natasha Denona, oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you know what, guys? I think I'm gonna let this one go. Uh, obviously, it's well-loved. I love this palette. This is the Love Glow Cheek Palette, and it's beautiful, but I do reach for this one more. This is the Bloom Palette. I think I can let, oh my gosh, I'm gonna let a Natasha Denona go. Oh, look at that though, look at it. Oh, I love the sparkles, but you know what? Maybe that can go to a better home and then this one is gonna stay. Wow, I'm already impressed. Let's go to these two since they won't stay open. So Smashbox did send me two of their Halo palettes. So the shade names are, this is Back to Cali and this is Pink Saturation. I'm gonna go ahead and let Pink Saturation go because this color story is way way more my vibe. I do like the bronzer in here better. Well, wait, is it the same exact shade of bronzer? No, it is not. They're not the same shade of bronzer. I do feel like pink saturation, this one, has a slightly lighter bronzer, but I do like the shades in this one more. It's much warmer. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that go, and I'm going to keep this one. Whew, these three are tough for me. Okay, these three, let's see. Ugh, guys, I think I'm going to let the Spring Magic palette by Unearthly Go. This is so beautiful, but if I'm being honest, like these are a little more vibrant than I normally wear. They're so beautiful. They, the quality is absolutely amazing, but it's just, I think it's something that can go, go to a better home. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Um, I am going to keep for now, at least until we'll see if I declutter this soon enough, but this is the Monarcha palette by Melt. This was such a standout for me with this collection. It's so beautiful. We have shimmery shades, we have matte shades. I love them. The only one I don't use often is Floor, which is that vibrant hot pink. But these others, I use them pretty significantly. Actually, I guess I didn't use Comigo, uh, Comigo, excuse me, that one often. But these four, I used 
quite a bit so that is staying and this one is going to stay this is from the collaboration that my friend heather austin did with unearthly there are two shades here the reason i put this in the blush area is because this shade is definitely not a highlighter for me this one is this one is not but they are so beautiful i use this one as more of a blush topper and this one is a straight highlight but like the packaging all of it like she just nailed it with this collection so let me put these back in the box so it looks like i am keeping one two three four five and getting rid of three I'm not gonna lie guys the other one was way easier for me because cream blushes are some of my favorite makeup products cream liquid blushes are my favorites so it's going to be hard for me to get rid of some of these especially when I am somebody who if I have a whole collection of something I like to keep the collection together but I'm really gonna try here to look at these objectively the melt cream blush lights okay so I have eight of them and I, uh, I'm keeping them all. <laughs> I'm keeping them all. You know what? Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. You know what? Maybe I can let Callie Dream go. Actually, I will. I'll let Callie Dream go. This one is a bit light for what I like. It's really beautiful, but this one I can let go. I am keeping all the rest of these. And then these remaining three are from Sigma. Let me put them next to each other so you can see. These are all from Sigma, and I think that they are just absolutely beautiful. Um, let's see, the shades that we have. We have Cor de Rosa, we have Coral Dawn, and then we have Pashmina, and I'm going to be keeping all three of these. These are really beautiful. The formula is really lovely of these, so I'm gonna be keeping all three of these. So basically, out of 11, I'm getting rid of one. <laughs> Also, by far, Golden Hour is one of my most used blushes of all time. This is like a sparkly, it looks so nasty right now, but it is a sparkly kind of peach pink. And then my most used blush ever of all time is Lynx. This one, so underrated, but so good. You know what? I'm going to get rid of another one. I'm going to, is this Daydream? Daydreamer. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one definitely has a bit of a sheen to it, but it's this beautiful deeper color. It's really gorgeous, but I really haven't used it. I really haven't. So this is one, another one that can go. You know what? Also, I'm gonna let Pashmina go. I think I can let this one go because I think I have uh, one in the melt formula that is similar enough and I like that formula a little bit better. So, okay. Okay. I'm getting rid of three. <laughs> so these are my Kaja blushes. And what's interesting about these is that a couple of them have survived multiple declutters. But I'm going to be a little ruthless today. The first thing that can go is the Cheeky Stamp. This is a very cute product. It's basically like a sponge here. And you use this to stamp it in and stamp it on your cheeks. I thought this was nice, but the formula was not as creamy as I want it to be. And honestly, this packaging, I do not like it. It's so bulky. It's so big. This is one thing that can absolutely go. As far as these, these are like the multi-use bombs. I love these. But... There are two shades in particular that I never use, and it's these two. These are purpley shades, so this one is Fig Smoothie. This one is Berry Sparkler. I really just don't like purple blushes on myself, so these two can absolutely go, and I will put the lids on so I remember that. And I'm going to keep these four. I really do love this formula. They are very emollient and very creamy, so those are beautiful, but 
I'm going to get rid of these three and keep these four. So these are my milk cooling water jelly tints. I will show you each one. So fresh is just kind of like a beautiful red orange. This one is absolutely staying. Splash is a newer one or new to me. And this is again, like a very berry purple. This is one that I'm going to give up for the same reasons that I gave up the last one uh, in that I just don't wear a lot of purple blush. Burst is also a sort of like purpley, purpley pink blush. It's really beautiful. It's um, kind of like a hot pink, but again, it's so purple leaning that I think that somebody else might get a better use out of this. Um, so these two are for sure going. Fizz is going nowhere. Fizz is my favorite one. This is the new one. Look at that. Look at how orange and beautiful that is. This is like the perfect peachy orange tint. This one is staying. Chill is also going to stay because it is like a beautiful red popsicle, but it comes out lovely and pink. This one is by far staying. And then finally, Spritz, which is one of the new colors, is similar in that it's a red popsicle color, but this one leans way more like hot pink in a good way. So this is staying. So I am going to keep four and get rid of two. These are all of my Finding Ferdinand blushes, and these were all the ones that were done in collaboration with Khaki Reviews, or I think it's Khaki Reviews Beauty is what she's under, but um, yeah, so these are all from those two separate collections. One was the, oh, Summer Abroad, and then Après Ski. I love so many of these. First of all, I love this formula. It is very creamy and emollient. Again, very good for my dry skin. I can tell you the ones that I'm keeping instantly. So this is probably my favorite. This is Latte. This is a beautiful warm brown. Like there is no question that Latte is staying. So I can put that there. Is this Macchiato? Um, this is Macchiato. Yep, Macchiato is absolutely staying. Macchiato is a much deeper brown. I love brown blushes and that also means that Latte, oh no, I'm sorry, Olay is staying. Olay is brownish as well. These are some of my favorite blushes right here, these three. Now, I can tell you, I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. So they, they, there's a few different ones. So this one is cozy. This one right here is chilled and chilled is supposed to be a topper that sort of changes the color of your blushes. And then this one, oh, do I want to keep dusk? Mm, I don't know. Okay, cozy and chilled though, two purples. These are definitely going to go. I just really haven't used them enough. I feel like this one is bordering on berry to the point where I could use that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these two. Oh, do I want to keep? Yeah, you know what? I want to keep all these. I love this formula. So I'm going to keep what is it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and get rid of two. Not a great ratio on this one, but when it's products that are bringing me joy, it kind of doesn't matter. These are the last three of my cream blushes. So first we have the Merit Flush Balm in Terracotta. I love this one. It's a beautiful brown blush. This guy is staying. This one can actually go. So this is another one of the, or this is one of the Milk Lip Cheek Tints. And this is a great color and the color is in Work, W-E-R-K. Beautiful color, but guess what? I never use it. So this is going. This product by Billion Dollar Beauty, look how boring this packaging is, how plain it is. This has been one of my standout products of the year. So this is the blush and highlighter stick. It is a rosy colored blush, but the formula is so good and emollient. Like I really love this. So this is staying, these two are staying and this one is going. Here we have all of my liquid blushes. 
And oh gosh, I love all these. I have pared this down so much, but I'm gonna pare it down a little bit more and I'm going to get rid of these two. These are the Kaja Lip and Cheek Tints. These are so nice, so beautiful. But mm, wait, wait, let me just look at this one. Yeah, no, this one can go as well. So these two, I can absolutely let go and I'm gonna keep these two. As far as the rest of it, is there anything I'm gonna get rid of? I love my Glossier Cloud Paints. I only have two left. I love my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Wand. It's very much near the end. This Hydromaniac blush, so underrated. It is a very bright color that I have here, but it is just absolutely beautiful. Same thing with the Halo, the Smashbox Halo Sheer Tint. You know what, I think I'm going to let go the Surratt one. I love this formula, but the color, which is Barbea Papa, is just not for me. It is a very like kind of cool toned pink and I'm not a cool tone girly, so I can't believe I'm getting rid of something Surratt, but I'm going to keep seven and get rid of three. All right, we're officially into powder blushes. We do have from Kaleidos. Now I have already like way taken down my collection, but we have these six from Kaleidos. Um, I think I can go ahead and let this one go. Is this like Sanguine or something? Why do I feel like that's the name of it? Oh my God, it is. I don't know how I remember that, but this is a beautiful, beautiful red blush, but I have another one that is this similar shade that I like the formula of way more. So I'm gonna absolutely let that one go. I think I'm gonna keep, mm, do I wanna keep all the rest of these? Why would I be keeping this shade? No, why am I keeping that? That's like beige. No, this one can go as well. So this shade is Hot Shot. And no, this is this is another one where I'm like, this, this guy can absolutely go. I'm not using it enough. Even this one, I'm like, this is so light. No, this is like a cool toned, another one. Uh, this can also go as well. Again, the formula of these is great, but if I'm not using them, what good is it doing? So immediately I can get rid of these and let's see where we are with the remaining. So I'm gonna keep these. It's funny, I haven't even swatched this color, but it's so beautiful that I wanna keep it. So these three Kaleidos are absolutely gonna stay. This is another one that's going to stay. This is by Essence and this is one of their blush lighters. You can see there is definitely a sheen to this and an ombre. This is such a beautiful product. I'm gonna save that. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to let this duo by Surratt go as well. It is very beautiful, the quality is great, but the thing is like when it comes to Surratt, if I like a product by them, I'm obsessed with it and it's the only one I ever want to use. And when I don't like it, it's just kind of like, it's, it's just not for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this go as well. So I am keeping four and getting rid of four. some more powder blushes and we have some by Singe and some by Koki and I'll kind of get to these boxes as well. These are from Koki as well. Now remember how I just said with Sanguine there's one that I like the quality of better that's a similar color? That is this one which is Timid Tomato by Singe. Singe makes some of my favorite blush powder blushes. Like the quality of these is fantastic. I love the way these apply. I am absolutely keeping all four of those. Those are going nowhere. Now, as far as these Koki gradient blushes, these are fantastic quality, fantastic quality. I will say though, this one is a bit light for me. So this shade is B1, B01 Cheeky. It's beautiful, but the color is just a scotch too light for me. So this is one that I can let go. I absolutely, this is my favorite one. So this is BL02 uh, Bellissima. This is just, oh God, I love it so much. This is staying. This shade right here is BL03 Heartthrob, staying, absolutely. This is BL04 Starcrossed. Ugh, let me see. You know what, as much as I love the ombre on here, I think I can let this one go, specifically because of this middle, 
that is that cooler toned pink purple. So that one can go as well. This is staying. I love this one. This is BL05 Tender. This is staying. Interesting. Okay, so I recently received these in PR from Koki. And I had thought that it was ones that I already had, duplicates, but no, it's all new ones. So let me put aside the ones that I know I'm keeping and then we can open these up and see, you know what, like we can get rid of them like right off the bat maybe. I don't know why the lighting in here suddenly got so dark when it is so bright outside, so bear with me. You know what guys, I lied. So these are all sealed. They're completely sealed. So I am going to wait on these. I'm going to hold on to all of these and I guarantee a bunch of them will probably go in the next declutter, but they're going to stay for now. So I am keeping all of these and these two are going to go. I am losing daylight here. <laughs> You know what's interesting here? It almost looks like it's golden hour. It is 1.44 p.m. So these are more of my powder blushes. Right off the bat, I can tell you that these two from Melt can go. So these are their powder blushes in Cali Dream and Honey Thief. Beautiful, beautiful products. They really are. But the thing is, if I'm using a powder blush, I don't prefer a matte powder blush. So again, great quality, but I'm going to go ahead and let those two go. These three are all staying. Uh, let me make sure the shadow on that one is gone. These three are staying. So these are their splits, melts, the uh, splits that they did that were a duo. And these are very, very shimmery. I love all three of these so much. So all three of these are absolutely staying. This, I've talked about this plenty of times before, is the only MAC product left in my collection, which yes, Definitely means that it's expired and definitely means that I don't care. This is Stereo Rose Mineralized Skin Finish and it was such a staple product for me and honestly, I do still use it. I do. It's a beautiful, beautiful skin finish and I absolutely adore it. That is absolutely staying. But I think I can finally let Milani Luminoso go. It is so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. It's a shimmery pink that's gorgeous. Oh, wait, do I want to let it go? Oh no, oh no. Yeah, you know what, this can go. It's beautiful, but I have ones that I think are better quality at this point. Uh, the Nabla, what about this one? See, no, Nabla is doing what I want this to do. It's beautiful and shimmery and peach, so this can stay. So. I'm going to keep these five and get rid of these three. These are what's remaining of my powder blushes. Okay, so, whew, God, this is difficult. This is really difficult. Hold on, because this is the one that's probably giving me the most grief. Let's see. Oh God, do you see the shimmer on that though? That like, oh no, you know what? I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it. So this is the Natasha Denona Duo Glow in Rhea, I believe it is, or Rayo, it's Rayo. This is such a gorgeous product. This is the um, Rare Beauty Blush and Hope. This is the only Rare Beauty product I own, total. That is staying, it is so lovely. I think this one can go. This is from the Sigma Little Mermaid collection. It is very pretty, but it's just your average pink blush. And to be honest, like I don't, the packaging is cute, but like, I just don't like the way it stores. Honestly, I think somebody else that I know in my life will love this way more than I do. So these three are my Sigma powder blushes. This is staying, this is Tiger Lily. I love Tiger Lily. It has a beautiful sheen to it that is staying. Corna Rosa, right? Is it, no, this is Berry Love. And then this one is Sunset Kiss. I think these can both stay. Does, this is about as berry as I go, this kind of muted berry. So no, these are all gonna stay. So I guess the only one that I'm getting rid of is the Sigma. We are moving on to bronzer. Now some of 
this is obviously a mix because you can tell like over here we've got blushes and things like that but I do not have many bronzers because I am incredibly picky about bronzer okay so basically what I'm trying to tell you is that the only thing that's going here is this so unearthly sent me both light and fair of this shade I love light so I'm going to pass on fair this is such a cool bronzer isn't it look at that like and when it's swirled all together it's just absolutely perfect this is my favorite bronzer of all time this is the Charlotte Tilbury and I know it looks gross right here but it's the Charlotte Tilbury um airbrush no sunkissed glow ew i'm sorry there is a brush hair in there <laughs> sunkissed glow cream bronzer the second that this runs out i will be repurchasing this is the sigma i think the color is light yep this is the light um bronzer perfect the nabla one mm, hmm no you know what i still do like this this is the nabla skin bronzing and ambra and i it's a good like kind of shimmery one this is more of a contour so this is the charlotte tilbury it, they call it a uh, bronze yeah bronze and glow kit so technically it is bronzer i use this for contour often but i do really enjoy this this is the mini and this if you know you know this is the hourglass ambient lighting palette and i'm obsessed with this this is one of the newest pieces of makeup i've purchased and i'm just addicted to it it is not cheap but i think it is highly worth the money so I am going to be keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, getting rid of one. These are all of my liquid highlighters. Right off the bat, I know a few that can go. One of them is this. This is the Lottie London Cheeky Glow. It is nice. I've used actually a good amount of it, but I don't use this enough to make it worth it. I love the color but the quality is just not exactly where I want it to be, so this can go. I'm also going to let this one go, so I think I'm gonna put this here just to keep these in place, but this shade is Awaken, so this is a beautiful pink highlighter from Unearthly. I just don't use pink highlighters, I really don't, but it's, look at that color. It is stunning, but I just want it to go to somebody else that will appreciate it a little bit more. Let's see if anything else can go. I mean, I'll tell you right now, I am keeping this because I want to test it more. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Liquid Highlighter, and I don't want to test all these out, but this is such a great consistency, and it's very, very, like, very emollient and very um, just golden. It's beautiful golden. I really, really, really like that. Oh, God, that's beautiful. So this is definitely staying. I'll go like this to kind of sandwich that in these are the ones i'm curious about no I'm, i want to keep all of these so i will say this is my current all-time favorite liquid highlighter ever the shade is lame this is by um now oh, let's see that's that's coming out pink but it's this one is not pink it just had a little bit on there because i put it over my blush lame is a beautiful golden highlight but it's almost like natural it's almost natural it's beautiful we also do have frou-frou which is a pinky tone these four are from unearthly so these all have different tones you can see blue and pink and gold in there and it's just lovely you know what i can also let the glossier stick go i can let it go i i do like it and i like the formula but it can go because i like the Surratt more so i am going to get rid of these three and i'm going to be keeping these seven So these are my powder highlighters by Kaleidos. I love this formula, but I see a few that I think I can get rid of, and we are going to start with this one. So this shade whoop, is Mars Melter, and it's beautiful, but it is just kind of pink glitter on me, and it's just not my favorite of the shades. So that one can go, and I believe also this one can go. This is kind of a cool toned champagne -y color if you were will this is star surfer very pretty catches the light even if the light is disappearing on me but it does catch the light beautifully but i just don't wear it enough to make it worth keeping i am definitely i'm sorry but i'm no i'm not sorry i'm not sorry one two three four five six i'm going to be keeping these six i love this formula if i had to pick a favorite i'm going to say it's prophecy prophecy is like 
white gold with just so much shimmer and sparkle in it. I don't want to swatch all these, but oh my god. Oh my look at look at that. It's unreal. This has hints of green in it. I mean, hands down my favorite. <laughs> So I'm getting rid of two and keeping the rest. So let's start here with some powder highlighters. This one by Lottie London. You can see the uh, the diamond glow, I believe this is called. No, diamond bounce. This is, I hate this. I actually hated this product. This is trash. No. I can tell you I'm absolutely keeping my Anastasia Amrisi. I love this golden highlighter. I feel like people had such a love hate with that, but I really loved it. So I also have these two from What's Up Beauty that I really enjoyed, but I think that this one in Wild Acacia can go. It's beautiful, but I just really prefer, well, see, here's what stinks. <laughs> uh, as far as like the pink tones, I like the pink in this one better, and I like this part better here. Hmm, what if I swirl them? Let's see. This is Wild Acacia. Nope, Safari Sunset is definitely, yep, that's my first instinct was the right instinct. This one is staying and Wild Acacia is going to go. My two melt highlighters are definitely staying. So I have Genesis here and here is True Love Never Dies. This is more of like a peachy orange, whereas this is more of a pink peach. I love them both. They're so beautiful. These are absolutely staying. As are, you know what? Mm, I'm gonna let this one go. This is the Ofra Signature Palette, and I love that you had five different shades here, but if I'm being honest, all I would usually do is mix all of them anyway. So as much as I really love this one, I think this can go as well, which kind of surprises me about myself that I'm getting rid of it because I really do love it. But I will, oh, I will say this one is staying. This is my Start Inspired Highlighter. This is from the Samantha March Collection. I use this one so often. There is a golden and a pink and I do swirl them together. Absolutely love it. And this one is old as hell, but it is staying. This is from the Desi and Katie collection. Look at that packaging still from Dose of Colors. And this is Fuego. I love this. I still use this so often staying. So I am going to keep six and get rid of three. This is the remainder of my highlighters. And guys, I guess the elephant in the room, like why the hell would I have kept this? Why? It's beautiful. I love the color, but like, I'm not gonna use this because it's that bad. So to be honest, like this is, uh, what color is this? This is Spectre by Unearthly. It's gorgeous, but I'm gonna put this right in the trash. I don't even want this to go to a friend deceptively. Um, the other two are absolutely staying. So we have Spellbinding and Mirage. Spellbinding has these kind of pink iridescent tones and Mirage has more of those green undertones. Just beautiful. These two are absolutely staying. I will tell you this is staying. So this is my Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. I still adore this highlighter. Like I really love this. And to be honest, like Champagne Pop is still around, uh, but like Smashbox bought Becca. I am likely gonna repurchase this if I ever fully run out because I love it that much. So that's staying. I'm also going to be keeping this. So this is the Ofra, is it Glow? No, Glow Up palette. Um, and actually it's always confused because it says all glowed up here and then glow up here. But anyway, I really do enjoy this one. If I'm going to have a highlighter palette, this is what I like to see. Very different tones, just beautiful. Uh, okay, let's keep going here, sorry. Highlighter in Savannah from Sigma is staying. This is a beautiful gold 
uh, like champagne gold. Champagne gold is usually like my go-to when it comes to highlighter. So this is definitely staying. The Navla Skin Glazing in Privilege is also going to stay. This is again a beautiful true gold. Love it. I can tell you that this is going to go. So this is the Celestial Lights palette from Fantasy Cosmetica and it is very, very beautiful. And if I used these colors often as eyeshadows, I would keep it. But since I don't, I feel like this can go to uh, a more loving home, if you will. And the Sigma Little Mermaid highlighter in Seashell. I did not love this. I felt like this is too white based and the, the purple came through kind of, it just, it just wasn't for me. It's very pretty, but it wasn't for me. So I am going to be keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, and getting rid of three. This one though is not even going in the declutter bin. This is going unfortunately in the trash. Okay, so the grand total of items that I got rid of in the blush bronzer highlighter section, 38. Guys, I am pretty proud of that. I have to be honest, 38 things I got rid of that will go to better homes. None of these are bad products. Like if it's a bad product, I'm sorry, wait, 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 wait. The Lobby London Diamond Bounce, this is a bad product. But honestly, if something is a bad product, I don't keep it in my collection. I really don't. I usually just pass it right on. But also, I'm pretty good at knowing myself and looking at an item and go, will I use that? And if the answer is no, like for example, some of these beautiful, um, the Milk Makeup Blush, Cooling Blush Jelly Tints that I love, these are purple ones that are brand new where I'm like, could I test that? and maybe make a video out of it, sure. But at the same time, I would so much rather pass this brand new on to somebody so that they can just enjoy it and love up on it. So 38. So then adding in my items from my past declutters, this bin, I'm impressed, is already like almost halfway full. Almost halfway full, and you guys, we have not even done my eyeshadow palette declutter or the lip declutter, which is gonna be insane. And because of that, I have a feeling this basket is gonna be overflowing and full. So please stay tuned. It's about to get even juicier, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying this, remember there's going to be a very big full collection declutter at the very end of this where you can see all of the things together instead of watching them all separately or watch them separately and watch at the end. But if you're enjoying this, please give this video a thumbs up. That helps out my channel more than you will ever know. Subscribe if you haven't already, become a part of the Rockstar fam. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all glitter fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars and I love you so much with my whole heart and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.